Hey guys, how you doing? I am doing really good. I've got everything situated today here. Oh, we'll get started here. I've got a 16 by 20. And I have one basic Liquitex. And that, let me see, what is that one? A red brown. I can't see it from here. Oh, red oxide. I've never bought basics before. So I ended up getting these basics. I want to try it. This is a pretty hue, like Cerulean artist loft but it's it's a tad bit different color just a tad and I like it and I love this um, quinacridone magenta seems to be more on the purpley red side than pink pink so I kind of like that too then I'm using phthalo blue artist loft and everything is mixed with the two parts flow trawl, one part paint, and water to bring them to the same consistency. And I'm not using coconut oil. I probably won't be doing that for a while. <laughs> Maybe sometime with flipping drags and stuff. But okay, so I'm going to also use Artist Loft White. I was going to add black, and then I'm like, nah. And I'm going to try to put in quite a bit of white. Like I did my last videos, because I'm always scared to use too much white. Well, here we go. And then I tightened my uh, canvas. I've got my sticks stapled gunned. <laughs> Using those oval ones, I bought those just to see what they're like. And you know what? You can't scrape your cup with these rounded ones against the cup. It's weird. So I'm using those. And should be good and set here. Everything is, it's, as long as it's not this way, because then this way, the racks will be pushing on the canvas. So I have to keep it this way. These are big trays, too. I love them. I can barely find these in the dollar store. I get them from the dollar store, and they're always gone. All right, so 16 by 20, you need 11 ounces. I'm going to go 12. Here we go. Nothing else. Um, yeah, I was just talking to my sweetheart daughter, and she's like, oh, her videos, I don't know, Mom, I don't know. I'm like, Sheila, mellow out. <laughs> Believe me, it takes time to learn the editing. And so, yeah. And then her phone is such a high-quality phone. It was recording diagonal even though she did hold the phone the proper way so horizontal so I don't know she'll get it though you know so I'll put quite a bit of white and then I'm going to use the phthalo blue oh no this is the basic hue so we'll see how this stuff works out then I'm going to put that with black blum blum, whatever it is. <laughs> Let's see, it's not sinking, so that's good. I have to read it to say the word. I can't say the word unless I read it. Quidacridone, what is it again? Quinacridone. I'm learning. So, oh, the blue just sunk down. So let's take a look real quick. This blue is a semi-opaque. So that's why it sunk. Okay, because it's lighter. All right. I'm sure this is an opaque right here. You know, I never did look at these. Uh, well, that'll take too much time to find it on here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's an opaque. Okay. And of course I can't see it on here because there's so much writing. I'm sure it says it down here. And I can't see because it's too small. But since that sunk, that tells me that was a semi. Or transparent, but that's a semi. So here we go again. Lots of white. 
two, four, six, eight, ten, almost there. And I'll kind of go easy on these. It's okay to go over a little. Gives you more paint. To, always better safe than sorry. Okay, so that's going to sink. I don't know. Yeah. Because that's... Oh, I don't know. All right. So let me get a drink of my coffee. Cause it, you know what? It's getting cold out here. <laughs> out in my shed. So I've got my sweater on, which is okay if I get this one. I picked out one of my worst sweaters. And then I've got pants on, some of my red and my shirt. So I'm good and warm. Eventually, I'll get a little space heater. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I think we're good. Here we go, Z. Can you see him? Hopefully, here in the view. Oh, I wanted to do that white down there. I messed up. Well, now here comes the same colors up here. That's okay. Put my white down here now. It's red, white, and blue. Hope everybody's doing good. Doing fine. I have to take pictures of my paint. I have so many stacked up again, and I have not been loading anything on Etsy or anything. It's kind of a bummer to do that part, but I've got to start. Here goes my sweater. Ooh, it's going to be pretty. I like it. It's completely different than I normally do. Um, yeah, I'll just keep going this route. Good and white. I see a little chunk and I have no idea how that got there because this is all fresh paint. <sighs> Even my white 
there. Something was in there. So I'll bring that to the middle. And I think I will go with, yeah, this corner. So it looks like it's selling up good. That's good. Not a lot, like a little. Back to the middle. Oh, it's got some cool stuff in it. All right, up here now. Look at this area. Just going to flow that a little bit there. A little bit. is cool. I'm loving it. So that's a good thing. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> All right. Um good. Right on. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I like it. That is really gorgeous. Nothing I'm not liking so far in this. Loving the streaks of blue and all the white. Gee, it kind of looks red in the camera because I can see in the camera right now. Yeah, this is bad. Very cool. Um, there's nothing I need to do with it. Just making sure that she's in the middle. Looking good. All right. This is pretty. It looks red, white, and blue in the camera, but it's not, that's that, it's a purple kind of red, pinkish. Yes, let's get a little different color. It definitely looks red in the camera, but it's not, guys. It's on the pinkish side, pink, purple, okay. Let's start over here and take a look. Oh, I like it. I'll go down these first. Very cool. Let's check out this one down here. I love those streaks, those lines, you know, that really made this picture look cool, or painting. Okay. That's the white streak. So that's what I'm talking about, those streaks of paint. 
just really cool. Okay, let's go down this streak. Yeah, that looks pink. I'll have to turn off the light and see what happens. That's so neat. So, so good all the time you spend mixing. I spent about an hour mixing. Let me move this bottle. No. This part's pretty. Really cool. And look at those funny lacy cells. Oh, that's cool. You know what that always reminds me of? That area right there in the middle? Like petrified wood. That's pretty. Look at that purple. I didn't even use purple. So that came out with the magenta and the blue. That's what's kind of neat about this. Very equal amounts of paint throughout it, so that's really good. Very cool. I guess this part down here is pretty awesome. All right. So I dig these hard lines in there. Look and see which way I would hang it. Kind of hard to tell when it's laying down. It's always better when it's laying up. Hmm. Can't really tell, but I like it. I love it. Totally different than my normal colors, too. So, yeah, using more white with these colors brings out the paintings. And I have never done that so much. So I'm really liking doing that. I think I like it this way for sure. No doubt. Pull it back so you can see the front. So that'd be the top for sure. Oh yeah, this is really nice. And that would be the bottom part. Very cool. All right, so that's it. Super happy with it. Looks like it's gonna kinda keep sprouting up some cells there. But this is so pretty in there. Show you one more side. I'll show you my favorite parts so far. I love this up here. It gives it a lot of character. All this and then this over here. Really. There's so much difference in this painting with the little hue of blue. And then, this is super cool. And of course this one. Super intense, man. Alright, so that's it. That was not so bad. There's the mixing part, that's always seems to be the hardest. And then I like this paint. So, um, these were, be careful that it doesn't, these were on sale 
Don't know if they still are. They're normally $4.99 for a tube. And it's what? It's a four ounce. Uh, it was buy one, get one half off. So that's always when I take advantage of something I have never tried, you know? And I think I might do one more video with these same colors on a Christmas bulb. But not yet. So I'll do that in my next one. So yeah, I really love this. This being the bottom, no doubt. And this the top. It's just so pretty. All right. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing and where you're from and who you are if you're new. Okay? Take it easy, guys. Stay positive. Bye-bye.